Forensic crime scene investigation deals with various types of evidence and specific challenges that can stand in the way of closing cases. Some samples may give the DNA profiles you need, but others might give poor quality profiles or no results at all. Knowing why you had no result or an unexpectedly poor profile saves time and money because you avoid unsuccessful reruns. The Investigator Quality Sensor acts as an internal STR performance control, lets you test every sample and see exactly what your results mean. From now on, when you insist on quality, insist on the Quality Sensor. What is the Quality Sensor and what does it give you? The Quality Sensor is the most innovative feature of Kyogen's new STR kits. The Investigator 24 Plex, ESS Plex SEQS, and Argus X12 QS kits. These kits have a number of powerful features, but the Quality Sensor shows you where to focus your analytical efforts. The Quality Sensor primers and an artificial DNA are already in the kit's primer mix, so you don't have any additional preparation steps. Just combine the primer mix with the reaction mix, add the DNA sample and perform the PCR. Looking at the amplification results tells you everything you need to know about sample quantity. Because they are co-amplified during the PCR, the two fragments behave as an internal STR performance control, giving one small and one large amplicon. There are five states that the quantity sensor can reveal. A successful run, a lack of DNA, a failed PCR, inhibited PCR, or degraded DNA. Successful PCR with a good quality DNA sample gives a high quality balanced DNA profile with two balanced quality sensor peaks. When you see this result, you know you can move straight to data interpretation. Some samples simply don't have any DNA in them. You can check this with quantification or save time and check with the quantity sensor. Getting this result, no STR peaks, but two good quantity sensor peaks means you won't waste any more time or resources on an empty sample. Up until now, without quantification, you'd never know if there was no DNA in the sample or if PCR had failed for some other reason. Now, you'll easily see it. No quantity sensor peaks means failed PCR. Rerunning the sample, taking care to check each step of the protocol should produce a successful result. Particularly high inhibitor levels can cause problems even for the robust investigator kits. In the past, you couldn't tell inhibitor-laden samples from degraded DNA samples. Now you can. Inhibitors have the same effect on quantity sensor 2 as on larger STR markers. This causes the ski slope effect. This, along with a small quantity sensor 2 peak, means you might need to dilute the sample and re-amplify to get a non-inhibited STR profile. Degraded samples give a different result. You'll still see the ski slope effect, but the quantity sensor 2 peak will be strong. Now you know that the DNA is degraded. Diluting the sample and re-amplifying would be a waste of time. Let's look again at how the investigator quantity sensor helps you. In our example, the quantity sensor results show you exactly what to do with each sample. You're sure you have a successful profile from the chewing gum so you can move to data interpretation. There was no DNA on the gun shells. You can discard them. You should repeat the PCR of the sample from the gun because PCR failed. You could still get a good profile. The blood splatter samples contain inhibitors. You can dilute them and repeat PCR if you need those results. The DNA on the knife is degraded, so you'll hold off on doing anything with those samples. Thanks to the quality sensor, you have made confident decisions about every sample and saved time and resources. Closing cases quickly requires quick decisions and reliable, robust, understandable results. That's what you get with the Investigator Quality Sensor. There's more information on your samples than the profile. So if you insist on quality, insist on the Quality Sensor.